Well, a warm welcome, one and all, on what has been a horrendous, a wet, wet evening. Thankfully, this rain has been deemed to be within reasonable limits. And after an inspection and all the regular formalities, the teams were handed in on time and the all-important go-ahead was given. Bit of disruption, of course, for those travelling in the direction of the ground. The crowds have taken a little longer than usual to get in and to settle down. But thankfully, that is behind us and we are on track. Well, there's a terrific, edgy atmosphere here. The crowd trying to lift England's spirits. Fans waving flags, everybody feeling truly positive about the day. It is a monster matchup, Jim Beglin. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive matchup, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We'd like to see excitement and be entertained. But if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. We have already started here. There's a beautiful simplicity about this contest. Willing running on one side, dogged defence on the other. Gehi. Kane. Turns and goes back. Back into the middle. Well, it seems as if the message has been issued by both managers. Don't concede the opener. And it's Stones. Stones. And Kyle Walker. Aim forwards. Alexander Rock has a look and has a go. He's got away with one there. That's just front foot enforcement. Pressure leads to mistake, leads to chance. That's good pressing, squeezing the play. Gages and forces him off the ball. And the keeper's got it again. Kyle Walker. And the first half is done. But it has been a half largely of could haves and should haves. Perhaps the more impatient amongst the supporters will Everyone feel they're overdue a goal. But it's certainly not for the want of trying. So nothing to show as yet. At the break, it's nil nil. How do you look back on the first 45 minutes? I think it's been a very impressive defensive effort. They've never been broken down and contained the opposition attack extremely well. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. England playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half. Despite this scoreline, converting chances would make a world of difference for them. Stones. Bellingham. Rice. Oh, they continue each to cancel the other out. And he's forced to go back. And Gehi. Trippier. The attendance for this match was oh, 97,559. Well. Granit Xhaka. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Yes, nil-nil and little promise of a goal due to the shot-shy nature of this contest, but I'm not giving up on it. There's plenty of energy on the pitch, not to give up hope just yet. Oh, that is good. Super running, sharp movement. Came up against a defender, though, who was ever so determined. Stones. And Gehi. And back to the goalkeeper. 
It's in, and that looks to me very much like an own goal. Oh, it's an unusual turn of events, and it was an honest attempt to help out, and I suppose it can happen to anyone. So, time for change. Um, this one has been on the cards for a little while. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Well, who saw that come? He's had a shot! Goal! That is remarkable! All square in a matter of moments! Yeah, they say that fortune favours the brave, and we've just seen an example. This team has real personality and character. It's the stuff you work on the training ground time and time again, and it came off. That has certainly made things interesting. Well, they just couldn't have responded any better, Peter. Yeah, there's the old cliche about how teams can lose focus after scoring, but you still have to take your chances. Brilliant. Stones tries to clear. Don't you just love the level of intensity here? Neither is prepared to back down, and, and to be honest, that's how it should be. Well, now it's a race for the ball. Be three minutes and time. Looking to add to his goal. And that has been slung wide. He's shifting through the gears here. Played in. Played back in. Got a shot away. What a hit. The save was firm. 90 minutes up, and we will be back for extra time. Well, we can only hope we get an extra time contest of similar ambition, provided fatigue doesn't begin to play a part. So 90 minutes couldn't produce a winner, and we have extra time. And if you're just back, well, the action is back underway already. England displayed great characters to force extra time from what looked a pretty ominous situation. The question now is, can they go on to win it? It is doable. Granit Xhaka. Can he get it through? And he welcomes it in. There's the shot! And that is wildly off target. Yeah, I think I'd feel that way too. Not that I thrived in one-on-one -on -one situations. Substitutions taking place. Switzerland are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Freuler. Well, he's hit it long, but astray. There will be one minute at a time. Half time, extra time. Just a quick announcement. Yeah, it is coming down to those last 15 minutes. A truly attritional affair that has reduced both teams to near standstill. The saying goes that it only takes a moment to make a difference in this game, but you have to pose the question is there enough left in the collective tank of either team? The hostilities have already resumed. Well, this really has been an epic encounter, and there are some tired limbs out there. How much more can the players give? That has ended up in no man's land. Foden. And it's Kane. Now it's Bellingham. Belts one. Gave it a go, but off target. Substitution. Well, there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Shakiri. Rice. 
Distributed tidily. He's had a hit! The whistle has gone. The end of 120 minutes football. Look, I've been in this position myself, and after a grueling game, you don't want to back down if the manager asks you to take a penalty for fear of appearing weak. Uh, you can't let fatigue cloud your judgment. Now the time for brave hearts and strong minds. An exchange of stairs, and we're ready to go. Oh, it's a nightmare start. Shakiri is the next man in the spotlight. You need a very strong mind in those situations. Any penalty that goes in is a good one. England are looking to him to tie things up. Keeper's gone the wrong way. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper, and he guessed wrong. So, the second man in line. Big character, big moment, big save. Rice will take the third penalty. He was always looking good there. Nice penalty. The third man in the queue. Oh, good take. Keeper committed himself. Looks like he's done it a thousand times. Never looked like missing. He steps up to take the fourth penalty. And he sticks it away. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. And stepping up, the skipper. 3-3. Three, three. Trippier comes forward for the fifth of five. No! Denied remarkably! Well, he felt the goalkeeper outstared him there, which gave him the edge. Pickford obliged to stop this to keep them alive. Oh, brilliant! He had to save it, and he did! So both teams effectively one kick away from the precipice. Well, he totally nailed that penalty, picked a spot, and didn't change. Switzerland are looking to save match point. Dispatched! There will be more of this. Yeah, made his mind up very quickly and just didn't waver. Bellingham is the second of the unscheduled takers. Good penalty, just steered it the other way. Brilliantly done. Never took his eye off the keeper either. The margin of error is zero. Dispatched! There will be more of this. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper and he guessed wrong. No winner through seven, on to eight now. I thought he handled the pressure really well there. His focus cut right through it. So can he do it? Can he keep them alive? Dispatched! There will be more of this. Good penalty. Completely wrong-footed the keeper. Stones becomes the ninth man to stroll up. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. He must, but can he? Dispatched! There will be more of this. How confident was that? Backed himself all the way. He was always looking good there. Nice penalty. Switzerland at the point of no return. Great penalty under pressure. Again, pick this spot. Looks like he's done it a thousand times. Never looked like missing. 
I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. Lest you need reminding, miss this and it is over. Dispatched! There will be more of this. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper and he guessed wrong. So we've done a complete round and still nothing is decided. You need a very strong mind in those situations. Any penalty that goes in is a good one. Switzerland must score here to stay in it. Saved it! And that's that! England have come through in the most dramatic fashion and the show goes on. The ultimate test of nerve and metal and they have made the grade. Well, there's really nothing quite like the excitement of a penalty shootout and they'll be absolutely delighted to have edged it their way. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening like to you. To draw your attention to the screen right now for information on our shuttle.